in this problem we have three uh, three rectangles and two of them are different billboards which basically can see from her window uh, first one and the second one let's say somewhere here And there is also a truck uh, that um, stays in front of this billboard and may uh, occupy some part of these rectangles. Okay, and we want to calculate the area of the visible parts of these rectangles. So in this case, for example, we can see this part of this uh, rectangle, which I will color like this. And also we can see this part. And for each of uh, these rectangles, we are given uh, the points in left uh, bottom corner here and right up corner here. So we are given the coordinates of these points. Uh, hmm. For example, let this be x11, one, one, y11, one, one, this point, and this point is uh, x12 and y12, and second rectangle is x21, y21, this point. And this point is x22, two, two, y22. Two, two. And the coordinates of the truck x31, y31, the left bottom corner, and also this corner uh, x32 and y32. So uh, to solve this problem, uh, let's first uh, let me first show you how we can find the intersection of two uh, rectangles. Okay. Uh, for example, if uh, we have two rectangles and we want to find their intersection. Let's say this is the first rectangle, the second rectangle. And we want to find this rectangle, which is the intersection of uh, two rectangles. And to do that, uh, we will need to find the intersection points of these two uh, rectangles, this one, the left bottom corner, and also the right up corner. And uh, there are different cases. Uh, so in this case, uh, this uh, the first point, left bottom corner, 
uh, has the x coordinate same with the x coordinate of this uh, rectangle of the green rectangle uh, in this example uh, let's say it's case one also there are other cases uh, when Uh, the green rectangle may be at the left of the uh, blue rectangle, for example, like this. Then uh, this intersection point of the rectangles is same with the blue rectangles uh, left bottom corner okay and on this uh, first image uh, the y coordinate of uh, this rectangle is same with the blue one but in the second one it is same with the uh, green uh, rectangles y coordinate here so in this case it has x coordinate of the blue rectangle and the y coordinate of the uh, green rectangle but in this picture uh, it has x coordinate of the green rectangle and the y coordinate of the uh, blue rectangle so um, how can you find this point? Uh, let's say um, there are four points for the blue rectangle. Uh, these points are, let's say, x11, xy11, and x12, and y12 the blue rectangle and x or and uh, and the second rectangle uh it's two one y two one x two two and y two two the green rectangle And the intersection of these rectangles, uh, let's be, uh, let's find its coordinates also, and let uh, let it be um, x three one and y three one. So how do you find the x coordinate of uh, the intersection? And uh, if we look at this picture carefully, then uh, we will see that this coordinate is actually the biggest uh, between the x coordinate of the blue rectangle and green rectangle in this case green rectangle uh, x coordinate is bigger that's why uh, x31 will be equal to x21 but in this case the blue rectangles uh, x coordinate for the left side is bigger that's why uh, the coordinate of this point will be the coordinate of the blue rectangle. So uh, we can easily uh, select the x coordinate by uh, taking the maximum between x11 one, one and x21. And we can do the same thing for y, uh, because the y coordinate also is the bigger bigger coordinate. There are two y coordinates here for two rectangles, and in this case we take the coordinate uh, for blue rectangle, which is bigger, and in this case a green rectangle's y coordinate is bigger. That's why we take it. So also y31 will be equal to maximum. In uh, y 
one one and y two one. Okay. So now we want to find the right upper right corner of this rectangle. And uh, here we see that uh, we take the smallest x coordinate between the right sides of these rectangles. And in this case, uh, the blue rectangle has less x coordinate. And in this case, here, the green rectangle has uh, less x coordinate for the right side. That's why we will select uh, the minimum between uh, first and second rectangles uh, x coordinates of the right side. So let's let's do it. And uh, so x three two will be equal to the minimum uh, between x one two and x two two, and also the y coordinate uh, is the minimum between two y coordinates of uh, the right corners. So it's minimum between y one two and y two two. But uh, there is also a case when uh, these formulas uh, uh, don't work uh, because sometimes our rectangles uh, don't have an intersection or have an empty intersection. For example, if one of the rectangles, let's say here, And the other rectangle is somewhere here, let's say. And in this case, if you take the minimum between uh, left, the, the maximum between right x coordinates of these two rectangles, then you will get uh, the x coordinate of this rectangle at the left uh, bottom corner. And um, also, when we take the maximum between y coordinates, you will also get the uh, y coordinate of the green rectangle. And when you will select the right side of the rectangle, as long as uh, x coordinate of green rectangle is bigger, uh, this side is bigger than this side. That's why, as x coordinate and y coordinate, we are going to select this point. And uh, we can easily determine that uh, these two rectangles don't have an intersection. And uh, so the area of the interse intersection will be zero. And we uh, should only, uh, we can compare x uh, 3 1 and x 3 2 and also y 3 1 and y 3 2 so when the only exclusion is when uh, x 3 1 is bigger than x 3 2 or y Three one is bigger than y three two. In this case, there is no intersection.
So uh, we have three different uh, pictures here. Uh, okay, sure. For different cases, and uh, when we found the intersection of two rectangles, then we, we can calculate its area. Okay, and uh, we can use this area to subtract it from the original rectangle. For example, if we want to find the visible part of this rectangle, then we can just take its uh, area and subtract from it the area of the intersection, this rectangle uh, area, and we will get the visible part, this part, which is visible. Okay, so after that, we can uh, find the intersection of uh, rectangle one uh, from the problem statement and, and, and a truck, and also find the intersection of uh, the second rectangle with the truck and uh, subtract these areas, which are the in their intersections, from the billboard area and take uh, the first billboard area, subtract from it the area of the intersection, and we will get the total visible area after that. Okay, um, this is how we find the intersection. Okay, so uh, the area of the intersection, uh, we can, Here we can assign the area to zero when there is no intersection. Um, so he will say that area of the intersection is equal to zero. And otherwise, we can calculate the area of the intersection uh, by taking the difference between x3, 2 minus x3, 1 multiplied by y32 minus y31. Okay, uh, do you have any questions about this problem? 